We are currently in edit mode under system settings tab. I'm going to scroll down, find my matrix switcher type. It's just add power SG500. From here, I'm going to enter in the IP address of the Cisco switch, username, password, and the number of inputs and outputs. Set the matrix monitor output port to the receiver designated for the video preview window. DTV Game Control will switch the receiver based on the current source selected in the application. Next, we'll press matrix settings at the bottom. To the left, you'll see just add power settings. At the top of the screen, we'll press the scan matrix. This will load all the information from the network switch that was programmed in from the JAG config software. To set up power control of your displays, select the output. There are three different options to control power. The first option is CEC control. To set the display for CEC control, simply assign it to a power group. You can also rename this power group at any time. The second option is RS-232 control. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's an area to paste RS-232 commands for power on and power off. We do support a combination of CEC and RS-232 commands within the same power group. The third option is IR control. We currently support IR control using Global Cache. Please refer to our Global Cache video for setup. And currently, we're developing for Just Add Power's new IR dongle. When this development is complete, we will add the instructions to this video. Tapping outside of the scan matrix window will take us back to the matrix settings page. From here, we can map our devices to their respective Just Add Power transmitters. This concludes our setup video for Just Add Power. Thank you.